Hello, Hello new, new song. song. We missed you. We miss everyone. How are you? <laughs> like we can hear you say good. <laughs> and you. Um, hi. So, first we want to say congratulations to Rachel Kind and Amanda. We love you so much and we wish we could be there for your baptism today, but we're so excited. Yeah. That's so great. Um, but yeah. We'll be home soon. Um, I know it's been a while since we've updated you last, and a lot has happened, but we're just going to give you um, <clears throat> just real brief, as brief as we can. You know us. So um, we went to on a mission trip to L.A. in Mar end of March, being of April, and it was awesome. There's so many good stories, but um, we're each going to share our favorite. Um, so basically what we did was... Um, fed the homeless and like went out in pimps and prostitute outreach and um gave groceries away and we were in church um just bring a revival to their little church there but my favorite story started before the trip even started we went down three days early to visit my friends katie and ac who moved there from michigan um after they got married and we went to a comic a comic like a live comedy show which me and Brad, we've never been, but we've always wanted to. We just, we love watching SNL and comics and stuff. And, like, we've never been to a live show. We've always wanted to go. And so we finally did. And there was definitely some vulgar jokes and stuff. But um, I'll tell you what made it all worth it. So um, the fourth comic was this guy. And he was like, I hear someone's from Michigan. And I was all quiet because I realized at a live comedy show, they mess with you if you talk. So, um... <clears throat> Finally, I started to be quiet, and he's like, oh, why were you all quiet? And anyway, he's like, what are you doing out here? And I said, I go to a ministry college. And he was like, freaked out. He was like, oh, we got Jesus girl over here. What did you come here to save us all? Blah, blah, blah. Like, freaking out on me. <laughs> and I'm laughing along, you know, and just playing, you know, I'm not offended or anything. And after that, everyone looked at Jesus girl for all the vulgar jokes to see if she was laughing. I was not. But anyway, after the sh yeah, after the show, all the comics are at the bar. You know, there's a bar outside, and I didn't realize that they would all be out there. And Brad, it was raining, so Brad and AC went to go get the van. And Justin, the comic who called me Jesus Girl, he's like, hey, can I get you girls a cab? And, I, and then he recognized me as Jesus Girl. I'm like, yeah, it's me. And he was like, you were great, I love you, blah, blah. But he totally opened up to me and, like, he was talking about his past, and he was talking about, um, you know, just what happened to him in his life. And I was able just to just to talk to him. I was just talking to him. I was just loving him. I was just, I didn't try to convert him. I wasn't trying to tell him what he's doing is wrong. He was, um, I think, I think gay, maybe. But, um, yeah, his friend came up and talked to me, and we talked for, like, an hour. And his friend was so, like, refreshed. He was like, you're a really good Christian. Wow, this girl's a really good Christian. He must have said that like six times. So obviously I was able to be a Jesus to them that they've never had before. And I don't know. I, I don't know how else to describe it because it was such a long conversation. But my main point I got across to them that they really accepted was that um, don't I said don't let someone else's relationship affect your personal relationship with God because there's so much freedom in it as your own. And so... They really got that as a clear message, and they really were like, yeah, totally. I Because they had lots of past issues with bad Christians, obviously, and they even told me about some. And I was like, don't ever let their personal relationship and things that they do wrong hinder your own personal relationship with him. You j all The only opinion that matters is God's. And so they really accepted that, and it was really awesome. It was so refreshing. So that was my favorite story. Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, like she said, we were feeding um, homeless people in different areas of L.A. And we had, the second day we were there, we went to Skid Row. And uh, it was one of the craziest places I've ever seen. It was like a third world country just stuck in the middle of Los Angeles. It was so poor and people on drugs. And, you know, it was just really sad. But we were able to give out a bunch of food, some clothes, um, love on people like that. And then... Um, they just kind of released us to go minister, um, and we were still, we hadn't really walked anywhere yet, and this younger guy walked, was limping up to the corner to cross the street, and I just start, struck up a conversation with him, um, and found out his name was Andre, and he was staying with the mission, he was homeless, um, but now he's in a discipleship program, and um, I asked him where he was coming from, and he said that he was coming from the doctor, so 
course, I asked him <laughs> what he was there for, and he said that he had injured his hip three years earlier, and it had problems with it ever since. And I said, do you want God to heal your hip? And he's like, oh, I know God can heal my hip. I was like, but do you want him to heal it right now? And he kind of looked at me. I was weird. watching all of this. It was really cool. So I was like, well, can I pray for you? He's like, yeah. So I, I started praying for him and, you know, just a quick little 30-second prayer. And I was like, well, how's it feel? And he kind of looks at me and he's like, it doesn't hurt anymore. So I got really excited. And I was like, well, can you test it out? And he's like, well, when I leave, I'll, I'll test it out. I said, go test it out right now. Walk, <laughs> walk down the sidewalk. So we started walking. He wasn't limping anymore. And he got he was really all excited. excited and his smile. Oh and gosh, then it was so really good. cool because I got to activate him and have him pray over another gentleman in a wheelchair. Um, and he had a bunch of things wrong. And he ended up, I think, feeling... He got saved. He prayed the sinner's prayer. Yeah. So it was really <clears> awesome. And then he walked away... I wasn't limping anymore, and he still couldn't believe it. He turned and looked at me and was just shaking his head like, this is crazy. One more thing about Skid Row. Like, I was, it was our first thing that we did when we got to L.A., mm -hmm. and I just couldn't believe how much, how many people I saw Jesus in their eyes. Like, you could tell the people that were saved that just, you know, somehow got here, <coughs> and their love in their eyes it was ridiculous i was shocked i just it was just it was overwhelming but um so last saturday was my birthday <laughs> um it was really fun i got these earrings from this guy over here aren't they pretty <laughs> oh i also got this hat let me oh, show you gonna do it. oh my gosh little fashion show there's buttons on it i love it and then I got this floppy hat. See how cute I am? <laughs> um, we had a fun birthday party. I really, it was my first birthday away from family. So it was a bummer and stuff. But at the same time, it was the best birthday I've ever had. So many people came over for this birthday party. I wasn't expecting it at all because it was spring break and a lot of people left. But so many people came for my birthday and we did a graffiti party. And that's where everyone wears a white t-shirt and we have permanent markers and we just draw prophetically on each other. You'll see the shirts when we get home. We'll wear it. We'll probably wear it the first Sunday. Mm -hmm. So um, this just was really cool and it really was my fun. Idea. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, we had dance dance and it was it was just a blast. It was so good. I had like 35 people sing happy birthday to me. It was the loudest birthday song I ever had. And then, yeah, it was just really great. We really love it. But to finish up, um, Rachel, in six days, is visiting us. <laughs> she's coming for 12 days, and then she's going to drive us home. She's just coming to visit Bethel, visit California, and then drive across the country with us. Are you so excited? <laughs> I am. <laughs> Everybody look at Rachel. Yep. Make her feel awkward. Wait, is she over here or is she <laughs> over there? I don't know. But um, we're really excited, and hopefully we will see you um, for church May 22nd. We should be arriving, like, super early, like, 1 or 2 in the morning. So if we're too tired, maybe we'll we be won't there. be there. We'll, we'll be probably there. be there. <laughs> but um, we love you so much, and... Yeah, we, we love you and we miss you. We, we have cannot changed. wait to be home. <laughs> we have changed so much. Our lives are changed forever, and it's so apparent inside of us with each other. We're just excited. Your support We're is so excited. amazing. Seriously. Like, best ever. <laughs> but we love you very much. Mwah! <laughs> bye, Mom. I love you. <gasps> Happy early Mother's Day. Okay, bye.